Hello! Kiwi, your facts that I think were true are 1, 2, 3, 6 and 8. And the ones I think were false are 4, 5, 7, 9 and 10. Did I do okay? Number one. When I was three days old, my sister, being the loving, caring person that she is, decided to share a lolly bag. She'd gotten from a party with me, fed me some Smarties. Needless to say, Smarties and a three-day-old baby don't mix very well. So thanks, Case. Thanks a lot for that one. Fact number two. As of last weekend, I have been credited on a TV show that's aired on TV in Australia. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how freaking awesome that is? Fact number three. When I was in grade two, I got in trouble for biting another child on the arm. I mean, he did deserve it, but apparently biting is not the way to go about solving all your problems. <laughs> Who knew? Number four. When I was 11, I started doing trampolining. I did that for about three years. I competed in a few competitions, but it wasn't for me. I'm not flexible enough. I don't have the skill required, so that one had to go bye-bye. Number five. In a game of netball, I tripped over another girl's leg, fell over quite spectacularly, and managed to cut my face. Um, I actually cut this point here, which is like you know, your most indent part of your nose. I don't know whether you guys have seen the side profile of me, but my nose is quite ski jumpy. If you just take a look at it, it goes out really fast. So managing to cut that bit of my nose rather than like the little ski jump bit that goes out was quite a feat, but I'm skilled enough to do that. Number six. When I was about eight, we went away on a family holiday. When we arrived at the place we were staying, I jumped out of the car and proceeded to slam the car door on my finger, resulting in a very black and blue bruised finger that bled from underneath the fingernail all week and slowly the fingernail like levered more and more up and in the end the entire fingernail just fell off. <sighs> I'll be back. In and back. Had to go pick up my sister from the train station and now I can't remember where I was up to. I think it was seven? Was it seven? Let's go with seven. So we're on seven. Um, as you all know, I'm an avid skier. I love to ski. I actually learned to ski when I was four years old. I was one of those really annoying children that like zoomed down really, really fast past everyone, getting everyone else's way. Number eight. My parents wouldn't let me get a watch until I learned how to read an analog clock. Even after I managed to convince them that I could read an analog clock and I got my watch, I couldn't really read it very well. It always took me like five minutes to work out what the time was and by then the time had changed because five minutes had passed. It took me till I was like 10 to actually be able to read it properly and like quickly and like within the minute that it was that I was looking at it. Fact number nine, I had homemade pizza for dinner tonight and when I was getting the pizza off the barbecue, being the clumsy self that I am, I burnt my finger on the barbecue and now it's really, really, really sore. Number 10, when I was in primary school in about grade five, we had one of those like representatives from the Melbourne Girls Choir come round and like hand out leaflets to join the choir. We all had to stand up in our class and sing. I think we just sang like the national anthem or something, but we all had to stand up and sing. And they walked around listening to everyone and handing out like the pamphlets to the people that they thought could join the choir. I was one of three girls in my grade that didn't get that pamphlet. I think that was the moment that I realised I couldn't actually sing. That's it. Let me know in the comments what you think's true, what you think's false, and I'll let you know how you went. My battery's running out, so I have to do this quick, but of course... Fuck, where did I put my party bubble? Here we go. But, of course, the party hat's back. It was Rex's birthday last week. Happy birthday, Rex. I hope you had a great time in Spain. I think that's where you went. So yeah, happy birthday. <coughs> this one actually works. I invested in some new props. And, of course, the customary party popper. Happy birthday!